The Canadian company that owns Muzak has retired the name, though not the operation, because it had become a punchline. So I want to say something on Muzak's behalf as being ahead of its time. It anticipated music as background, which sounds shallow compared to really listening, but a series of technologies, uh, transistor radios, uh, Walkmans, Discmans, iPods, massively expanded that background role. And if multitasking is real, then background can also be central. It anticipated compilations and playlists versus the notion of the album as the highest form of recorded music. Muzak was like radio in that way, but without the annoying announcers. It provided unpredictability in the order, uh, along with that sameness in tone, uh, that eventually arrived for individual listeners with the shuffle function. Possibly the uh, greatest technological advance since refrigeration, because it liberated us from the hell of the same cuts in the same order forever. And it lets you hear music everywhere without bringing it with you, which now comes via the cloud. So if it's now obsolete, uh, that's obviously because the rest of the music world finally caught up to Muzak. For the Star.com, I'm Rick Salutin.